we are seeing a spike in respiratory diseases among children in many parts of the world. What are the symptoms? What are the red flags? And how can parents protect their children? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith. We are talking to Dr. Wilson Ware today. Welcome, Wilson. Wilson, speak to us about the spike that we are seeing in respiratory diseases in children. We are seeing a spike in respiratory diseases in children particularly those under 10 years of age, beyond the typical flu season we usually experience during fall and winter month. This unusual spike in cases has been reported in several countries in Europe, including France, Netherlands, Sweden, and the United Kingdom, and also in the United States. They are seeing an increasing number of children hospitalized with acute respiratory infections caused by common respiratory viruses such as influenza, para-influenza, respiratory syncytial virus commonly called RSV, adenoviruses, and coronaviruses including COVID-19. In addition, we are also seeing increasing cases of pharyngitis and skin infection caused by bacteria called group A streptococcal infection. This may be because we are back to relative normalcy after COVID-19 and seeing viruses and bacteria spread again. Maybe some children did not have prior infections, so don't have any built-in immunity. Or maybe some of these viruses changed just a little bit and seem to be spreading faster. Maybe some children are getting multiple infections, so becoming more sicker than usual. So it could be any of these reasons we are, as we try to figure out which particular one. Wilson, what are the symptoms, what are the red flags that the parents should be looking out for? Typically, children will have a cold or flu-like symptoms with a, res a runny nose or nasal congestion, sneezing with crutch throat, irritating throat, a cough. Some might have a fever or change in their ability to eat or drink. In most cases, parents and caregivers can manage these symptoms. However, in some cases, it may be associated with group A streptococcal infection. In this case, children will have a sore throat, a headache, muscle pains, and a fever, along with a fine reddish rash, which is called scarlet fever. But watch out for the red flags. Worsening of these symptoms, specifically if a child is breathing too fast or having trouble breathing with the upper tummy getting sucked in, which we call chest in drawing, or when the lips or skin are turning blue, or when the child is constantly running a high temperature or throwing up, or is unable to breastfeed, drink, or eat. And in case of group A streptococcal infection, they have painful skin and bones. Then you know it's time to immediately consult a health provider or go to hospital. Wilson, what can parents do to protect their children from these diseases? There are three things parents can do to protect their children. First is practice good hygiene. Cover your mouth and nose with a mask or tissue. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Cough in your elbow or sneeze in your elbow. Throw away used tissues immediately and wash your hands. Wash your hands regularly with soap or use a hand sanitizer. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. The second thing is to keep up to date with the child's vaccination, including for influenza and COVID-19. The third thing is to breastfeeding if a child is breastfeeding, because breast milk is protective against these viruses in younger infants. Thank you, Wilson. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy and stick with science.